So today we're doing some smoked pork tenderloin sliders. Oh yeah, and guess what? On the Traeger Grill. My name is RJ and this is Beginner's Barbecue Outdoors. All right, so we have a pork tenderloin. We're, we're guessing about maybe two pounds. That's all we need for this. We have some provolone and some Hawaiian rolls. So the rub of choice, of course, we're still on the Spellbound Hot is now taking over my rubs for now because it's really damn good and I think it's going to be a perfect mix with this pork tenderloin. So if you want, you can go ahead and take uh, some fat or clean it up if you guys want. I'm just going to leave it the way it came out of, came out of the package. Um, it's good enough for what we need to do. Let's go ahead and add some of this Lane's Barbecue. So I didn't use any binder. I figured this was good enough. And as you see, no binder was needed. All right, so how are we gonna cook this on our Traeger grill? We're gonna put our Traeger at 275 degrees. We're looking at about an hour to an hour and a half. But I will be using my Quad X Pro from Chef Temps. That being said, let's fire up our Traeger. All right, our Traeger grill is up to temp, 275 degrees. Let's go ahead and add this bad boy in here. Let's add our temp right about here. Should be good. Let's set our internal temp that we're gonna go is 150, that's why I like it. Set it. All right, this one's already connected to that one. So we'll be back. When it hits 150, I will guess about an hour to an hour and a half. We'll be back. And it's saying that it's ready. Look at that. Let's take it out. All right, so here you have it. Now we're ready to go on the next stage. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and slice them. Thin slices so we can go put this in our Kawan King rolls. Man, they look good. So you can cut them as thick as you guys want. See the juices coming out? Ooh, it's juicy. You go ahead and try a piece. Ooh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. That rub is amazing. It's amazing. Okay. So you can see a lot of juices coming out of this bad boy. Let's get our buns ready. Go ahead and give them a cut. Go ahead and bring this one back. Put it down. Go ahead and put all your slices in there. Cannot wait to try this. Now let's go ahead and put our provolone cheese. More meat, guys. You want the meaty? Now, barbecue sauce. Put barbecue sauce on one side. Now we close it like that now what we're gonna do is I melted some butter and add a, and I added garlic seasoning so now what we're gonna do is just put it on top go ahead and put it on the side it's just let it drip it's all good all right I already set the trigger at 350 degrees, so we're going to put this back in there. I will check them every 10 minutes till I think they're ready, till I see that they're nice and toasted. Let's go ahead and put these back on the trigger. All right, our trigger's at 350 degrees. Go ahead and add these in here. We'll, be ch we'll check them in 10 minutes. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Cheese is all melted. Oh. It's nice and uh, 
not very toasted but it's medium I don't know it's good that's how I want it so let's go ahead and uh, take it out all right so here you have it so before we get into this let's have a quick recap of what we did today All right, let's go ahead and give us a taste. I am ready to try it. All right, they're looking amazing. Little tiny sliders. <laughs> oh man, it came out. It looks pretty. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh man! Wow. Oh. This is a 10 out of 10. Oh man. Got the little hint of the barbecue sauce. That spellbound rub. It just it's all mixing very well right now. Oh man, this is good. You guys need to try this. Wow. This is a good appetizers. But if you don't want them as meaty as this, then you can do a 24 count. But man, oh, this is good. This is definitely a hit. I want you guys hit that subscribe. Check out this videos out. I will see you guys next time.